Welcome everyone. I'm Pastor Debbie McGatt of Eastward Christian Fellowship. And I welcome you to this time of soaking and healing prayer. On this day, we're going to be using Psalm number 121 as a vessel to grow closer to God and to inform our prayer. And so as we begin, I invite you to find a quiet place, a place where you won't be interrupted. Turn off your cell phone. Find a comfortable chair. And then I invite you to your gaze at these wonderful candles that symbolize faith, hope, and love from the Lord. And as we begin, I invite you to just begin to relax, to settle into your comfortable place, and to let go of the tension around your eyes. To let go of the tension around your jaw. To make sure you're not clenching your teeth. But allowing your mouth to relax. Right back to your ears. And relaxing the back of your neck and the front and your shoulders and your chest. Relax your arms and allow that relaxation to spread into your hands and in your fingers, right to your fingertips. Relax your back and the muscles of your abdomen and of your hips. Relax your legs your knees, your calves, your ankles, and your feet, right to the tips of your toes. Let go of all tension. I invite you to become aware of your breathing. To sense the coolness as you breathe in. And the warmth as you breathe out. Take a deep breath now in through your nose and out through your mouth. And as you do so, invite the Ruach of God, God's breath of life, into your very self. And as you breathe out, breathe out all the tension and stress, all the negativity you may have been holding. Breathe in the life and the light of Jesus Christ. Breathe out the sorrow and the fear.
And as you breathe, I invite you to say your yes to God. Yes, Lord. For we know that whatever God has for us, it is always good. Loving God, as we come before you at this time, we pray for the mighty presence of your Holy Spirit to fill our homes, to fill the room where we are, and to fill us with your presence, your power, your protection, and your peace. We give this time to you. And Lord, we thank you in advance for all that you are doing and will be doing in us to bring us to a new level of wholeness and health in you. And as we turn to the words of Scripture, the words of your psalm, we do pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I lift mine eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. would it be like for you to lift your eyes to God right now and to look to him for his divine help? Well, God is inviting you to do just that right now. He calls to each one of us to seek him, to seek his face, he is more than ready and more than willing to help. And so I invite you to do this now in faith. In your heart, even if your eyes are closed, lift your eyes to him now. His eyes for you our eyes of love. Loving God, we look longingly to you. Just as your people did of old, as they ascended the hills to your temple in Jerusalem, filled with hope. We too turn to you with hope. We want so much to come before you today, right now, to seek your face, to seek your grace. And to sense your healing power. Thank you, Lord, for drawing us nearer to you. The help you offer, Lord, is everything. It's more than we could ask for or imagine. And yet we ask with confidence, for you have told us that we can. You are the one who provides our help. You provide a shield to those who look to you, a shield of faith, a shield of protection, a shield of peace, of shalom. As we look to your shining face, you provide us with a shield from fear 
our help comes from you. Our healing comes from you. Our very life is a gift from you. Guide us. Lead us closer to you now, Lord. Help us to rest in your presence. He will not let your foot be moved. Lord, we know that too often we've stepped away. We've walked away. Sometimes we've even run away. But when our gaze is turned to you, you keep us on the right path. You guide our steps and direct our ways. And as we walk in your way, Lord, you restore our strength and our health. And gracious God, you keep us safe from the evil one. Thank you, Lord. Help us to stay always on your path. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. Lord, even when we take our rest, we can be sure that you are awake and watching over us. As we prepare to rest each night, remind us to hand you all of our concerns. As we let go of them and place them in your hands, sleep will come more easily. Restorative sleep. And in your hands, Lord, trials become triumphs. May we place all of our trials in your hands with confidence. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. You may have trials today that can even seem to beat down on you like the summer sun at noon. But if you will look to God and put your trust in Him, He will look over you and will even stand between you and the trial you face like a perfect shade tree providing the coolness and the calm that will refresh you and restore you. Loving God, help us to place ourselves in the healing shade of your presence, even right now. And as we step away from the heat of our anxieties, we know you will shelter us in the shadow of your wings. Help us now to truly feel your gracious presence, even in this moment, Lord. Be real to us, Lord. Be tangible in ways that we can connect. Provide your healing presence within us as we shelter with you. Wash over us, Lord, and in us 
and cleanse everyone who can hear my voice from all sickness, from all fear, and from all stress. Wash over us and in us, Lord, to cleanse us from all frustration, from all anger, and from all unforgiveness. Lord, set us free from memories that have held us captive for too long. Set us free from the hurt that we've carried for too long. Set us free from all worry about tomorrow. And instead, show us how we might face everything with you. As we connect with you in your perfect presence. We gratefully take hold of these final words of Psalm 121. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. May it be so, Lord, for we are yours and you are ours. Now we gratefully accept all that you are doing in us. We thank you, Lord, that you are healing us now. We thank you, Lord, that pain is melting away in your presence. We thank you, Lord, that dis-ease is disappearing and your restoration is at work within everyone listening in body, mind, and spirit. We thank you, Lord, that you are melting away anxiety and anger and fear and despair. We thank you, Lord, that you are releasing all provision, that you are caring for us, meeting our needs, and holding us in the palm of your hands. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. Amen.